Hello everyone, this is Rajesh Chatterjee, the founder and CEO of Delipad IT. Delipad is our authorized Salesforce implementation partner. This video, we're going to talk about a very, uh, you know, usual problem that most of the businesses they face every day, correct? And you as a Salesforce consultant, you as a Salesforce user or a business analyst or an admin developer, you must have heard about this problem statement that I'm going to talk about now. The problem statement is most of the time the business, they have, uh, you know, sales team, they have support team who receive the leads or who receive the cases every day. And the problem is the leads, the, the salespeople, they're complaining that we are not getting enough headcounts. We're not getting enough uh, number of leads. Some people are saying, you know, we are getting too many leads, which we cannot digest, right? So to solve this problem, what most of the business they do is they used to have uh, extra manpower whose job is to collect the leads and distribute the leads among the uh, among with all the sales executive or the support executive in a round robin fashion. So this is pretty much manual job what people are doing. We have created a very useful plug and play application inside Salesforce platform and uh, which the application is going to help the business to distribute the leads or the cases equally and uh, the load so that the load balance can happen properly so that none of the sales executive tells that I got more leads or now the sales executive tells that we got less leads to execute, right? So this application will make sure that whatever, you know, capacity that the business has decided for a particular salesperson, the salesperson gets the leads or the cases based on that capacity. If somebody is full for the day, the, the, the system will make sure that, you know, that person will not get uh, more leads or cases. All right. So the name of the app is a round robin app. And uh, let's go into my screen and let me explain how this application is working. So we have created few custom objects inside Salesforce and uh, let me explain all the objects one by one. So first object is called agent availability, right? So you have sales agent or service agent who are receiving the leads or the cases in, in they're supposed to get it in a round robin fashion, right? So agent availability is the object that we have uh, created and given access to the Salesforce admin of your company whose job is just to make sure that the agent, whatever agent that you have, like in our case, we have only four agents, right? So each agent have their own capacity defined here, right? So business said that, you know what? Integration users should have four leads uh, maximum. Lukman, who is another, uh, you know, agent should get maximum two leads. Rajesh should get maximum five leads. So this is the capacity what you as a Salesforce admin can define inside the agent availability system. Our application will automatically check that out of four, how many active leads are assigned to integration user. That number will be displaying over here. Number of lead assigned. You see the next column. Number of lead assigned is a field which will show that how many active leads, whether the status is equal to active or whatever status that you have, you can again configure this. Okay. So it will show you how many active leads are there in the name of where the owner is integration user. Correct. That is what called number of lead assigned. And this particular column will automatically show that how many leads can be assigned more to this particular integration user. Meaning to say, let's say there are this like four capacity and uh, suppose two leads are already been assigned to integration user. Number of lead can be assigned more should be two, right? So this is how the application automatically uh, calculates the number. There is a feature in this uh, object called uh, is active. Okay. So you know what happened like, uh, you know, right? Salesforce has user. Correct. So whenever you load, suppose you are loading 50 new users with Salesforce license or whatever license. We have written our code where whenever you load the data, whenever you create or onboard new uh, users, automatically this agent availability will be synced, right? So let's say you added a new user, automatically that user will be coming over here in the agent availability object. Let's say you have deactivated some users, it will come here showing as in, you know, is active will be false. So this particular custom object named agent availability is pretty much synced with the user object. Next checkbox or the feature that we have in this particular object is called is user available. So what happened? Let's say this user named uh, Rajesh is not available for a particular day. Correct. So you can come here and can uncheck this box. So manager of Rajesh can make Rajesh as not available by checking this box or unchecking this box. We also have an extended feature where the manager can decide that Rajesh will be available, not available from this date to this date. 
So, you know, we can have that date defined by the manager and system will automatically make Rajesh unavailable to take the leads for that particular dates. That's the extended feature what we have. All right. So I hope I have explained all these uh, checkboxes, what it does, what, what it can do. Now, before I demo you uh, the system, like how the demo will happen, basically, I'm going to create few leads like lead one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then those leads, whatever I'm going to create will be assigned to a particular queue, right? Because normally if there is a sales team, sales team is what is nothing but a queue, correct? Where all the sales team members will be there, right? So we will create few dummy leads, one, two, three, four, five leads. Those leads will be assigned to a particular queue inside the queue. I'll make sure there are a few, few people, few queue members inside the queue, and then I'll show you which queue member has what capacity and based on that capacity, based on that availability of that user, the leads will be distributed or assigned to those owners. Okay. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I have total these three queues in my system, Q1 sales team and uh, testing queue. So I'll make sure that all the leads that I'm going to push inside the system should be assigned to the sales team. Okay. Let me open the sales team and show you who all are there in this queue. So we have Rajesh integration user and security user are there in this particular queue. Okay. So if I show you the agent availability, see Rajesh without Lukman, everybody is there in that particular queue. So any leads that I, that I assign to that queue and once the round robin, uh, you know, process they, it fires, basically it will be firing in every 15 minutes. That's how we have configured it. So once the round robin process fires, what will happen apart from Lukman based on the capacity, based on the user availability, the leads will be assigned and distributed based on the uh, you know, capacity that we define in the system. Okay. So let me create few leads inside the system. So I have created a small, a few lines of code, which will uh, create the leads automatically. So this is the code which I'll be executing. Let me execute this. I have executed. Now I'll go back. I have created a report, which will show you that there are leads created with the uh, name as uh, what is that name? Q2, right? So Q2, one, Q2, two, Q2, three, like this, the leads will be created. Okay. Let me go and show you in the report. So this report is so far empty. If I refresh this page, see there are uh, four leads created. Why four leads and why the names of the lead are Q2, one, Q2, two, because of this particular code that I have shown you. Okay. So this code is basically responsible to create it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this uh, round robin business logic, which I have written in this particular class and this method. Before I run this, let me show you. Check this out. This leads Q1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Four leads are assigned to sales team. And do you remember who all are there in the sales team? In the sales team, the leads, I mean, let me show you who all are there in the sales team, by the way. So in the sales team, we have Rajesh integration user and security user. One very important thing that we have to know here, this is how the round robin fashion works. So, you know, we have uh, flows, we have lead assignment rule, but why this particular product is going to help you, which what exactly the, uh, you know, flows or the assignment rule cannot do is this. Our system, like the system will remember that inside the sales team, who was the last person got the lead? What is round robin? Round robin is basically, let's say there are three people, right? First person got the lead, then second, then third, then again, first, then lead is like done. There is no more leads. Now, when the second time the job starts, it should start from the second user, right? Because the first user got the lead last time. I mean, the last lead got assigned to the first user. So when the next batch starts, it will start from second user. Are getting right? So this is very important that if you do not, if your system do not remember who got the last lead, then how can you resume the assignment from this next person? It is not possible. So for that, we have another object created called, we actually have created a custom object called Q and Q members. Q and Q members are parent and child custom object, which we created. And we have written some script, which will, you know, sync the actual Q, the standard Q object and the Q members with this custom object. Now I'll not go into the deep of the technical things. I'll just show you one small thing. Okay. Okay. So check this out. So we have uh, queues, the sales team. That's the queue name, right? I mean, whatever leads I have assigned, it, it got assigned to this particular, uh, you know, queue called sales team. And inside sales team, I have three members, right? Rajesh integration user and security user. 
Guys, this is what called round robin ID. This is a custom field with some custom business logic in through Apex. We have provided this round robin ID to every single user inside the queue. And that is very important because if you do not know, see, uh, same lead cannot go to the same user twice. How do you know that user A got already a lead, user 2 did not get, user C have not received it. How do you know? Every queue members, whoever is there in the queue should have a queue ID. I mean the member ID. So this is what called round robin ID. So our business logic, whenever it fires, it automatically creates, it generates the uh, round robin ID. So let's say after this, you added the fourth person inside the group, inside this queue. It will automatically, the when the logic fires, it will automatically assign the number four round robin ID to that person. And what is the significance of this ID? When you run the job, the first lead will go and assign to this person named Rajesh. Then the lead will go and assign to this second person called integration user. Then third, then again first, then second, then third. This is the use of round robin ID. All right. If I show you one thing, right? Uh, so this is the queue detail guys. So this queue, this is very important. Okay. This is also part of the business logic, what we have written. What this is doing is basically it is remembering who actually got the last lead. Do you see the something called last allocated queue member round robin ID? So system is remembering who exactly received the last lead. So who received the last list? Number one. So let me see who's round robin id is number one so rajesh received the last lead okay so in that case immediately when i run my round robin job who is going to receive the next lead this person integration user then security is then again come back to rajesh then it will continue you got it right so now let me go and run the round robin job and before that let me show you this so i have now four leads in my reports um q one two three four okay and uh it's, it's basically assigned to sales team. Inside sales team, there are three members, Rajesh, integration user and security user, which has one, two, three round robin ID. The last person who received the lead was number one, which is Rajesh. So when I run my job, when I run my job, basically the Q1, this particular lead will go to second person. Who's the second person? Integration user. Then second lead will go to security user. Third lead will go to go back to Rajesh again. Remember this maths, okay? Um, so before that, you have to make sure your agents have the capacity. I mean, I, I made sure that Rajesh can take five leads. Integration user can take four leads. Security user can take two leads. And I have only four leads, by the way. Okay? So let me run the job and show you how it works. I'll go back to my anonymous window. And basically, this is the line of code. I mean, this line, I'm executing, executing it manually. But ideally, what it happens, we have written a schedule job which will execute this code automatically every 15 minutes. So whenever a leads comes into the system, you know, this, uh, you know, this job will run every 15 minutes and uh, whatever new leads got assigned, it will be coming into that jobs radar and it will keep assigning based on the logic. Okay. So let me execute this. I have executed the round robin logic and I'll go back to my reports and show you how it works. So this was my report so far. It still, you can see it is assigned to sales team. If I refresh this page. So uh, if you see here, the first lead actually went to integration user. Okay. Second, second is basically this number three lead. Okay. That become the second lead. It went back to security user. And then the, 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 uh, the next lead went back to Rajesh. This is how I said, right? I mean, if you see my, um, you know, uh, this, this group, right? Who was the last person? Number one. So my first lead is supposed to go to integration user and that's exactly what happened. See, first went to integration user. Then the second lead is supposed to go to security user and exactly this is what happened, security user. Third lead is supposed to go to Rajesh, right? Because Rajesh is the first person and exactly this is what happened, right? So this is how the round robin system works, okay? And this, and let me show you another thing here. If you go and refresh this page, see this. Rajesh had five capacity. One lead got assigned, four leads are pending to be assigned. Integration user had four capacity, two leads got assigned, right? That's what, so if you see the system, integration user got two leads, okay? So it is automatically deducting how many leads got assigned to which user dynamically in this particular object. Okay, so this is how the round robin uh, product works, right? I mean, we uh, there are a few limitations that you cannot achieve this 
uh, into your with your standard configurations. Uh, though we have flows and uh, with flows we can write a lot of business logic. But when it comes to a lot of customizations, no, like business said, you know what? Um, I have to make sure that hey, you know, if this is a, a business holiday, make sure the lead the the agent doesn't get any lead. If this is Saturday Sunday. Uh, make sure the agent doesn't get lead. If if the suppose the agent shift start from six a.m. morning, some agent shift start from twelve p.m. afternoon. So you can do all this customization with this uh, you know custom round robin product where you can define the system that hey system make sure you don't assign this particular leads to this agent because he is not available because his shift start from. Uh, some whatever time like 12 p.m. or whatever time, right? So basically, these customizations can be done easily with this uh, round robin product. Most of it we have done it from our side. So as an admin, when the business use this particular product, it becomes very easy. They just have to configure the agent's availability object, like which agent should have how much capacity, and then the system automatically runs the uh, scheduled job. I mean, I said it's 15 minutes, but normally this is configurable. Some business they say that every five minutes my job should run. Some business they say that every two hours my job should run. So all these are configurable uh, through this system. Okay, so I'll just quickly repeat what we discussed. We have been discussing about a product called Round Robin. It's a customized product. Which what problem statement it solves? This the problem statement that it solves is basically when you have multiple sales executive, we have multiple service executive, and you got so many leads coming, you got so many cases coming in, and you do not know that which executive got how many leads. You want to have a control. You want to decide that this executive can get only these many leads, not more than that. This executive, if he is available, based on that, he will get these many leads. It's all you can define with this round robin app. Okay, as a business user, you just have to access this particular screen to assign the agent availability. That's it. System will do rest of the thing by itself. I hope this uh, video is pretty much clear to you. Uh, I try to give a, a overview. Uh, that's why I did not explain the coding because uh, code becomes very difficult and boring, right? So, uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Hopefully, we'll try to answer through the uh, comments. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.